Hello and welcome to Power BI Zone. Today we take a look at has one value DAX function. We will return true when the context for the column name has been filtered out to only one distinct value. Otherwise it will re return false. So now let us straight forward deep dive into the practical example. I have just entered the data into uh, you know a table which contains your country mainly India and USA, your state and the sales and profit for uh, various states. Let's go back to the visualization and try to understand scenario one. So over here as you can see there is country, there is state column and there is sales right and we have a total which gives me the overall sales. Now let us try to understand how the has one value function works. For that I have created two measures using the has one value. One at the country level and one at the state level. So I'll pull the country level has one value function first. So the has one value DAX as the syntax is I have passed a column inside this which is the country column. Now for each and every row imagine at my base data if you see my base data the same data I have pulled in, in the visual as well right country and state and sales right. So now if you see there is a filter context coming for India and Assam in the first row, India Karnataka in the second row. So since India is there only once in the first row it is going to return a true. Similarly India is once and it has got any only one distinct value in the second row it will return a true. Same in the case of USA because each and every filter context is returning only one unique value for USA and India. But the expression will evaluate to false under the total. Why? Because in the total what happens two countries are there India as well as USA and you do not have one distinct value hence the total over here it is returning as false. Okay so now I have pulled in has one value for state. Similarly for each and every state you are going to have a unique row because for each and every row the row context will come into the picture right. But in the case of total you will find it is false because you are going to have all these states right and hence since no, it is not getting one unique value it will return you as false. So one of the use case scenarios very commonly used in um, has one value is we have to uh, let's say one of the sales for Karnataka and UP both of them are null right for example. Then what will happen you are not happy with the total the total should not give you the total for these two nulls as well you want your total to be blank in that case you can go ahead and create a measure give shift enter to come to the next line if has one value right so it clearly tells you it will take only one column over here right so I'm telling if the state column has got only one value then then give me the sales right so then give me the sales else give me blank and I can drop this conditional sales over here So you are able to see we are getting the sales for each and every row which returned true remember but in case of false it is going to give you a blank. So over here this the second scenario is you want to see the sales over here for USA right if I go ahead and do a double click on USA you will give you will get the sales for Alabama, Ohio, Florida and Texas right all these are sales remember. But now your client comes in and says that I do not need the sales when I go and drill down. At the country level show me the sales but at the state level show me the profit. So two different measures how you can do that. So over here also has one value can go ahead and help you. What you can do is let me try to replicate this I will just copy this visual and paste this right. Okay, now 
what we can do is we will create a separate measure toggle let us call that measure as toggle sales and profit because we want to toggle between our sales and profit right so we have to learn different ways of writing DAX over here I have used variables so that you are more familiar with DAX in my first variable I have taken a profit where I just simply store the sum of profit and sales where I store the sum of sales now you are going to obviously have to do a return and in the return I have written a simple logic what has one value of state right whenever the state is going to give me one value then what do I want if the state is going to give me a distinct unique value I need the profit else give me the sales so if I go ahead and you know bring this measure instead of sales what do I get is this so at the country level okay it is going to show the sales look 68 is the sales for USA which matches with the above right now if I enable the drill down and go inside USA I see Alabama sales uh, Alabama profit Ohio profit right so how can I prove this I can go ahead and drill in the top chart as well how much is the sales for Alabama 21.4 but over here I see the profit of Alabama right 12.4 now scenario 3 is the client is interested in seeing a particular message at the country level when you dig in you will be able to see the actual profit let's say at the state level right so for that what I have done is I have created a measure called dynamic sales message if has one value inside has one value I have written state right so if my state is having one single value right then I'm interested in seeing my profit that's why you're saying 7.3 4.6 because one one state is having one one profit at the state level but if this is not true so when it will not be true it will not be true at this level at the country level right so if it is not true then I would need to see this particular message which if it is not true you just give me this particular message that's how you can achieve this it's a very simple DAX I hope you are able to understand the functionality of has one value if you like this video go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel and do encourage me with your likes thank you